I've been waiting nearly two years for this. Welcome to Life in My Shoes Reviews and Such. As the intro indicated today, I will be speaking about The Wretch Omnibus by Phil Hester and Friends. Um, as you may know from previous videos, I am a bit of a comic collector. You will see superhero paraphernalia, including the Infinity Gauntlet right here. Um, in the background of the videos and in my other channel, you will see a display of my graphic novel shelves and um, a plethora of action figures. <coughs> but all of that started with the almighty comic book. And over the years, that has progressed from collecting the monthly collectible comics into collecting what are called graphic novels or trade paperbacks or hardcovers uh, graphic novels. And so uh, what I do now is I generally wait for a new series to complete enough to produce a graphic novel and I purchase a graphic novel. Um, generally that could be anywhere from four to six issues, can be up 12 plus. Uh, but I wait for that and I collect them because they display better on the shelf. They're, they're better than putting in the comic box, etc. <clears throat> this particular comic the Wretch is an indie comic that I discovered probably 10, 15 years ago. I don't know. It's been it's been quite a while. So <clears throat> I discovered the artist Phil Hester uh, in a uh, a flash, a, an issue of Flash. It was actually an annual as part of the Bloodlines storyline, and in that comic. Uh, Phil Hester was providing the art, but it introduced a comic book character called uh, Argus. Um, the storyline for Bloodlines was that uh, these aliens were invading Earth every time they would uh, they fed off of humans. Occasionally, they would try to feed off a human, and rather than killing the human, uh, it would imbue them with power. So, uh, right here is a page, original page of art <clears throat> by Phil Hester for the Argus. Uh, comic series, the limited series that came out after that. Um, so I got hooked on this artist and soon began to seek out uh, other things this artist has done. And as a result, I discovered that Phil Hester is not only an artist, but a writer. And so my shelves are currently lined with a plethora of books that are not only Phil Hester art, but in many cases are Phil Hester writing where someone else is producing art. <clears throat> The Wretch is one of those gems where he does both. So he's both the writer and the artist. So the Wretch, Wretch started out as a character called the Creep, and I think there was probably some licensing issues, and so had to adapt that and picked, uh, landed on the name The Wretch. Started in, uh, I believe it was Caliber Comics, uh, and Caliber had an anthology called Negative Burn, and the character was originally introduced in that um, and I think had several appearances in the anthology Negative Burn before finally getting a Caliber uh, limited series. Um, and, and I believe that ran four or five issues. Again, black and white, uh, written by Phil Hester, art by Phil Hester. <clears throat> uh, then I believe it got um, another five issue a uh, limited series, black and white, again, written by and drawn by Phil Hester. I believe it was by Amaze Inc. Um, and then has had, I think, one shots here and there in various other an anthologies, including Shock Trauma Comics, uh, which is a group of artists that are connected to Phil Hester. So as a little bit of introduction to the character, this is a, uh, a super quirky character who is a mystery. Uh, first off, the character never speaks. Uh, um, everything is portrayed in um, the limited but um, amazing uh, face. So there's able to articulate through the eyes, uh, body language, etc. Uh, a lot is able to be articulated there, and Phil Hester does a phenomenal job of doing a, being able to do that. <coughs> uh, 
he uh, has whatever powers are needed for the scenario. And that's where it kind of breaks the superhero uh, genre, but he's able to do whatever the story dictates. Uh, he is a superhero of the city of Glass City. Um, it is, I would say, kind of uh, maybe an X-Files type of magnet for the kind of weird. And that's generally what the wretch is addressing. He is tackling kind of the weird, not necessarily the traditional uh, super villains, but more these supernatural, um, unexplainable quirkiness things that are happening to the city. So <clears throat> about two years ago, a company called uh, Omaha Bound, OB, um, which uh, Phil Hester, I believe, is based out of Omaha. Uh, or no, he's based out of... Uh, um, Iowa, I think. Um, but uh, they advertised on their website that they were collecting pre-orders for an omnibus, omnibus that would collect the entire run of The Wretch uh, plus a brand new story. So about two years ago, I spent, I think it was $35. I did not buy any of the extras. I regret that at this point. I should have done that uh, being a huge fan because not only... Do I have the Phil Hester art right here? I have the Wretch, or an original Wretch poster right here. <clears throat> um, I regret not having gotten some of the specials that came with it. Um, but anyway, over the course of roughly about two years, I continually wrote and uh, contacted Omaha Bound to find out what was going on. A lot of the delay was just in the fact that Phil Hester is um, a working artist and writer and had other commitments. This was a side commitment for the new story. Um, so it was really about trying to get that new story completed and then get it inked um, and then to get it uh, proofed, get everything proofed, and then to provide a copy to the, you know, provide a copy to the printer, get the print copy proofed. And then Phil Hester, in fact, had to sign all of the copies. So roughly two, two years later, I received this and I'm as giddy as a schoolgirl. The Wretch is easily one of my absolute favorite comic books ever, and I'm happy to have the Omnibus on my shelf. I have the previous three collected editions uh, over here on the shelf, somewhere down over here. Um, I believe they were produced by Amaze Inc. Again, uh, I'm a huge fan. I won't get rid of those. I'll keep those in addition to the uh, Omnibus. I'm happy to have them. Again, super quirky character, tackling super quirky uh, problems, never saying a word, having the ability to meet the, uh, the problem head on with uh, his wits and without his voice and uh, solve things in a very surprising way. So uh, from a comic perspective, I would say this is a must own, must read. I think you can contact Omaha Bound right now and they are still selling copies beyond those of the original order. So I highly encourage it. Send your love, send your support for Phil Hester's work, The Wretch, to uh, Omaha Bound. You can look them up on the web. And order yourself a copy of The Wretch Omnibus. You will not regret picking up this book and uh, reading it. Now, I will say that uh, it is, A, it's beautiful. Um, black and white, the colors are crisp. Um, you can kind of see it here. Um, I got the signature, Bill Hester signature right here. You can kind of see it right here. Um, the uh, only only super complaint I have, and this is not even truly a valid complaint, is I would love to have had it in a hardback. Um, but such as it is, I'll take it in this format. If I can someday get a hardback copy of it, I'll be happy to do that. I will get that and put that gladly on my shelf. I would love to to own some original Wretch art and have reached out to Phil Hester in the past and he has confirmed that he does not sell that art. So you would have to buy a commission um, of the Wretch, but you cannot get an original page of Wretch art, which is unfortunate. I would love to have it. Um, but there you go, the Wretch Omnibus. It is a fat, fat collection, um, probably somewhere between... Uh, Traditionally, I would say 10 and 12 uh, traditional uh, issues um, in length. Um, I think they were saying it was something 
maybe 300 pages or something like that. It's got sketches, it's got original, um, it's got specials at the back, like the original proposal right up for the creep, the new new story, etc. Um, a great collection, super character, super fun, great read. Check it out and let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Um, and again, check out Omaha Bound where you can get a copy of this uh, omnibus and others that Omaha Bound is working with uh, other creators to release uh, other work and at least one of them contains Phil Hester art, The Falling Man, which I am looking at myself. Um, they have collected that and are releasing that in a, a limited edition graphic novel as well. So check it out. Let me know in the comments and uh, I'll be reviewing other graphic novels, shoes, etc. in the weeks to come. Thanks a lot.